There's a star days, there's a hand date. Those who can't wait, there's an extend date. There's a star date, there's a hand date. Those who can't wait, no, yeah. <gasps> Mr. Fabs, timekeepers, ticking away. Mr. Fabs, timekeeper is ticking away. I got a good friend, I want to help him. He wants to go, fair place till next weekend. When I called him in just one week, he said to me he had a release. Oh no! Mr. Fabs, timekeepers, ticking away. Mr. Fabs, timekeepers, ticking away. It's ticking, it's ticking, ticking away. Mr. Fab's timekeeper is ticking away. Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's classic. So, there are men out there who decide to practice semen retention. And a lot of them will wonder when they're going to get more female attention. And their purpose of practicing semen retention is female attention. And that's the in the back of their mind as almost like that's the main drive behind why they practice semen retention. And to these men, I often wonder, or I often think that they just don't get it. They just don't get it. You see, it's not, you, when you practice semen retention, and I want this to be a public service announcement. We don't practice semen retention for female attention. That's not why that's not why you should practice semen retention. Semen retention has nothing to do with the attainment of females and and this and that. That's not the objective behind practicing semen retention. Semen retention is not for female approval, it's not for female validation, it's not for it's not for the attainment of more females. It's none of that. It's not it's not for it has nothing to do with the women at all. Semen retention is about you. Period. That's all it's about. And if you are one of these guys that find yourself thinking, I'm doing this just so I can, just wondering when I'm going to get more female attention, then you, you walk in the wrong path, man. You're, you're, you're starting the mission on the wrong mindset. That's not the reason why you should start off trying to practice semen retention. That should, that should not be the reason at all. Now, granted, a lot of you guys may seem to pick up, and I did talk about this on the Mr. Fabulous site. When you decide to hop on semen retention and you are wanting to be a fabulous man, you might find yourself being looked at or just being like, you might find yourself getting more attention. Some of you, some of you just don't care because it has nothing to do with the attainment of females. I mean, there are different things you can do for the attainment of females, but this specific Discipline is not about the attainment of females. It's strictly about you and you bettering yourself. But a lot of the times when men pick up on that energy, you have to realize that a lot of the times it's not really... What she's picking up on is the fact that you're, you're walking with a different energy. You get what I'm saying? You're trotting with a different energy. You're carrying a different 
vibration that a lot of men around you are not carrying. Because naturally, when you practice semen retention, you naturally carry this subtle confidence. It's not, it's not out loud confidence. It's just subtle. And what that subtle confidence means is that your attention is focused on something that's not her. That's all that means. It's nothing serious. And it's it, all that means is when you're getting that attention, if you get that attention, for many of you, it doesn't matter. Like for me, for instance, look at me. Don't look at me. Give me attention. Don't give me. I don't care because I'm not doing this for I'm doing this for me. There are other things I might do for female attention or um, the attainment of whatever. But this specific discipline is not for female attention. But specifically, what a lot of the times what what she's picking up on is just the fact that you have a certain vibration and energy about you. That's not centered around because you can tell if a man is walking in a certain way. His energy is not centered on females. It's not that the guy is queer. It's not that he's he's he, he's he's not straight. It's not that he's whatever. It just means he doesn't prioritize fapping. He doesn't prioritize sex because these things won't go anywhere. They're always going to be there. The pleasures in the flesh of the world are always going to be there. They're not just going to disappear. Only thing that will disappear, only thing that will happen is your livelihood, is your vitality, is your growth. It's your glow. It's your peace of mind. It's your alleviation of depression. It's your minerals being retained in your body. It's the healing aspects of you retaining your seed and not constantly spilling it. These things will go away if you keep spilling your seed. But the flesh of the world, the lust and the carnal desires of the flesh and all that, they're always out there, man. They're, they're always out there to, to be enjoyed if you decide to. But if you partake in that nonstop every single day, you actually, you, you're actually ruining your life completely. Because nobody has taught us that as a man, I can only talk about being a man because I'm a man. Nobody has taught us that as a man, retaining your seed is the most potent thing and the most life-giving thing you can do for yourself as a man. Just to give you vitality. You get that? Just to give you vitality and willingness to keep living. Just to give you the courage to want to keep living going on and want to keep living just to take you out of that depressive state now of course when you first start off trying to be a fabulous man you'll find yourself going backwards like you might find yourself um going through withdrawal symptoms such as binge watching flicks and, and 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 even hornier than you've ever been and all of that that's just that's just the withdrawal symptom but you when you when you reach a certain stage what happens is you naturally stop prioritizing sex Sex is good. It feels good. It, it is what it is. You can enjoy that when you're on vacation or when you're chilling, whatever. But it, it's not a priority in your life. What becomes a priority when you begin to retain this more and more and more is you. You become the priority. Do you get that? That's what the art of semen retention leads to. You becoming the priority. It has nothing to do with the more attainment or attention of females. Now, it is nice that you might receive some attention. Especially if you've got if you're a guy who doesn't get a lot of attention. But that shouldn't be the driving force behind why you're practicing this. You're actually practicing this to better yourself and for you to look for. So what it does is it gives you an, an enlightenment where it starts to help you realize where you need to go in life. Because what happens is if you keep releasing. See, we're on like a grinder. We're grinding. And. The more that you retain it is the more that your grinding become more precise. In other words, you become more clear as to where your life is headed, as to what I need to do, as to the steps I need to take. And the more that you release, it it, it, it takes you out of your, your, your focus. So now you're taking one step back and now you're kind of like, well, I'm, now you're second guessing what you had to do and all that. Doesn't that happen when you release? Don't you begin to more and more second guess yourself? Don't you become to... Don't you begin to be less and less clear in your mindset as to what you need to do in your life? 
But when you practice the art of semen retention, you become more and more clear. Everything becomes more and more focused with time. Now, this doesn't happen eventually, like immediately. But with time, you become more and more and more clear as to what it is that you need to do as a man to put yourself on the next level that is best for you, not best for anybody else, but you. You are you. You are a unique person, just you. It cannot be for anybody else. It's just you. So a lot of the times when you find yourself getting any type of attention, a lot of the times, too, it could be just because, man, you, you, you're just horny as hell. So any type of glimpse, the female looking at you, you might, you might think that it's, it's more than it is when it's really nothing. It's just a person looking at you. It's nothing serious. I mean, she might be looking at you smiling or whatever, but hey, that's because you, you've built up this energy. And the thing is, you're just focusing on you. You're trying to get your, your stuff together. And in the process of you get trying to get your stuff together, pe- pe- people can pick up on that energy when a man is walking straight forward. Just like you could have females who could pick up on the energy of men that they can use, men that they can't use. They could pick up on that. So too, can you, as you continue to rise and as you continue to become more fabulous, your energy grows and grows and grows and you're walking with 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 a direction you're walking with a direction just like i've mentioned before if a person is a predator and you're looking for prey a lot of the times you guys don't realize is that there are not all of course not all i can never say all but there are a lot of female predators looking to like vampires looking to rob energy from you because literally when you stop releasing your sperm you stop releasing your life energy why do you think you're so happy? Why do you think you feel so good? If you don't release it, if you don't succumb to the, the urge all like instantly, why do you think you feel so good? It's because your energy is literally growing. It's really expanding and growing. And when that energy is growing like that, you built up this, this, this subtle vibration that's just so positive and uplifting. And for a person who doesn't have that energy, who can sense this 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 progression and this growth and you not all because just like there's 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 male predators yeah there's female predators as well too and a lot of the times it's a lot of them trying to take that vibration that energy from you to bring you back to that depressive state a lot of the time not all so whereas you think it's just this attention that oh i'm getting attention i'm so happy no a lot of the time it can be very vampiric energy trying to rob you of what what is why is he he sh- what is he so happy about and you don't think so so it's not just one shoe there's many different reasons but the main reason i would say is because you walk in with a subtle confidence and you're walking in a way that doesn't say desperation it doesn't say approval pretty much and it doesn't say uh a guy who 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 lives his life for the attainment of that like you're walking with a different vibration and a lot of the time she might just want some of that energy because she's low on vibration. You get what I'm saying? And she wants to take that energy from you. And I, a lot of the times too, when you succumb to that and you and you go ahead and pursue that, you'll find out once, once you know, the games start, because the games always start a lot of the times. When the games start, at the end of the day, she'll rob you of that. A lot of you have experienced that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> she'll a lot of the times rob you of that feel good, that positive growing energy within you because you're not releasing you actually walking with a purpose and after that's robbed from you she goes about her way just like a vampire and now you're low again because you now you got to start at the base so a lot of that time a lot of the times when you're getting that energy it's not all roses and, 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 and peaches a lot of the times it could be a narcissist trying to take energy from somebody they, that they seem as that they see as walking positively that has a lot of freaking energy that is positive that is walking upright and and goal driven and and just subtly confident and is not living for the approval and, and, and attainment of all day every single day of female sexuality it's just it so in other words your attention is not focused on her and she peeps that and she can see that and a lot of you will resort to that and 
it a lot of times it don't end well so just be mindful of that realize when you practice semen retention it's not for the attainment of females it's, it's not now you can pursue females if you decide to if if, if she's if she's uh you can court females in that sense you, whatever but this specific art of semen retention has nothing to do with the waiting for female attention and if you if you think it it does then you just don't get it it's all about you and your growth and it's all about you and your prosperity and it's all about you and your livelihood it's all about you breaking free from this depressive state called uh chasing and and, and sex and all that and, and realizing how depressed it has made you it's you trying to get back to that base to that childlike happiness really just contentment and happiness and you can only do that if you retain your seed stop spilling it so that way you can bring back and get back your life energy your your childlike life energy that happiness and then you can center your life on something more positive instead of it being this continual habitual addiction to porn masturbation and constant need for sexual gratification when you live in that way you will never grow in your life. You will never become a greater man. You can't because you're, you're, you're only focused on life, on that specific energy. And that specific energy is not an energy that actually grows you. Sometimes you lose energy in order to, in order to grow. And that's one of the sacrifices you make. Sex, it actually, the spilling of your seed actually is a sacrifice. It's not something that makes you grow. In life, there are necessary sacrifices that you have to make. And spilling your seed is actually a sacrifice. It might feel good. Yes, it might feel good, but it actually is a sacrifice because it doesn't aid your body and, and make it healthy or and grow in any sense. It's something that you do for pleasure and for procreation, of course, which is the, in, the initial intention of it. But the abuse of it actually destroys you. Be wise and conscious and rise above that and realize that's what's going on. You're not practicing semen retention for female attention. That's not what you're doing it for. You're doing it for you. It's about time where you you focus on you and you alone. No, nobody else. Just you. And you will see how your life will change. Focus on you being better. Focus on you getting your stuff together. Focus on you being independent. That's what you need to do in this modern time as a man. Be wise and conscious. Be fabulous and live more. If you found value in this video, please, please consider making a token of appreciation on the link below. And as always, thank you for watching.